Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, I just wanted to show you guys how I store all of my tarts and melts and things like that that I put in my warmer. Um, I've been kind of asking you guys questions and I've been getting lots of input off of YouTube and Facebook and I finally just came up with the decision to uh, order these boxes. Well, actually, I bought them. I bought them from Michael's. Uh, Michael's is a craft store. And at first I went um, and I bought five boxes, but I forgot one category. So I went back and I picked up the last box. So I have six boxes and I'm going to show you guys a little bit um, on what's inside of them because some people were requesting that. So again, sorry if the camera's a little bit jittery because I am holding it. Um, I don't have it on a stand. So anyway, um, the top box is winter. Then um, goes floral, fresh, fruity, bakery, and then the bottom box is fall. And the reason why I did it this way, um, some people said that they were going to organize by vendor. And I have so many different vendors um, that I just didn't want to do it that way. Um, because the way I melt... Um, like, for instance, in the fall, the only types of uh, scents that I will melt in the fall are bakery and fall scents. Um, other than that, I don't do anything fruity, don't do anything floral. Uh, maybe once in a while in my bedroom, I'll do um, a floral. But other than that, I mean, it's pretty much um, by season. So I'm going to start with the first box. And sorry about the shadow here, um, but the first box is, oh, sorry about that. Okay, let me just get this. The first box is winter, and this box is the smallest out of the three different sizes that I have. You can see there's a pretty butterfly and um, some flowers on there, and I'm just going to open it up and show you guys. I don't have a lot of stuff in winter. I'm not going to go through everything. Um... Just because in the winter time I do a lot of candles and I really don't melt a lot in the winter. So that's my oops little winter box. And what I love about these two, these have magnetic closures. So there's like a magnet in there that closes them. Okay, so that's the first box. The second block box is floral. And this one um, has a little bit more items in it. Um... So they're all of my floral items. And oh my gosh, it smells delicious in here. Gorgeous. Okay. I'm just having my daughter help me here. Just put it on the floor. And then the next one is fresh. And this is what, um, it looks the same on top. The last three boxes that I have large boxes in, they, um... They have a different top to them. But anyway, so this is fresh. And that is what this looks like. Pretty much filled to the brim. Okay. They get heavy as they go. So just be really, put those other ones on the floor. Okay, and then um, we've got fruity. Now this is what the large boxes look like on top. I really, really love the bird in the bird cage. I think it's really, really cute. So this is what my fruity looks like. We are stacked to the rim on um, clamshells and tarts. Can't really fit too much anymore. Um, things in here. Also, I have a question for you guys, and I kind of asked this on uh, Facebook, but I have a bunch of like raspberry cotton candy or like um, where it's fruit and possibly bakery, um, like this one, strawberry zucchini. Well, it's fruit, but zucchini bread is zucchini bread. Well, I guess this one isn't really a good example either because it's not bread. But anyway, I'll show you in the next one what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, this one. Well, this one is marshmallow serendipity. Basically, serendipity is strawberry and coconut. So I just decided to put it in the fruits because I don't know what marshmallow um, would be considered. So two hands with this one. 
Okay, then the next one is a bakery. And my bakery is pretty much filled also. Um, like here is the baker, one of the bakery ones that I just had a question about. It's raspberry Amish bread. Well, it's fruit, but it's still bakery. So I just put it in bakery. So that is everything there. And then and that one's really heavy. And then the last one is just fall. And again, sorry about my camera. And this is everything that I have in fall. Fall I could use a little bit more of, but like I said, fall and winter I pretty much burn a lot of candles. So I don't really have a lot of um a lot of things to burn in the fall and winter. So that is pretty much it for my organization. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um maybe got some ideas um as to how to organize and set things up um i just have these basically in my bedroom right now um what i'm going to be doing though is this summer i'm probably going to be taking the fall and winter box out of here and storing it in my closet and then um keeping all the other boxes in here possibly taking bakery out as well um so yeah so that's pretty much how i do it please leave um comments down below. Thumbs up this video and don't forget to subscribe. Have a good day guys. Bye.